Yeah, we were delivered this morning, uh, actually Jan delivered a great speech this morning on interpersonal communications. And we're going to take a look at the manual. What she say in the manual? How clearly did she explain the negotiation process? And I think this morning when you came up today, I think you did a fantastic job because I think you brought it to an overall level of where everybody could understand about the negotiation. You brought great examples. You said we use that with our, with our kids, we use it with our spouses, we use it with our employers. And everyone could ever relate. It's a common deal. You need to have those skill sets. I think that was great. The UN went into it, and he had the great opportunity to kind of say, "My husband didn't know about it, but I'm going to use this negotiation." <laughs> and I think that's great because I think there's a lot of unexpected action, there's a lot of humor opportunity there that you know everybody's kind of like sitting back. And then, and your story about, I'm, "We're going to do the bathroom." He doesn't know it yet, but it's a win-win deal for him. You know? So that was great. And, it, and when you went to the Home Depot thing and you gave it a great example, I couldn't help but think of the mental images of, of the commercial. You know, the couple's in the Lowe's and, and in the car, and they're, are you telling this, honey? And then you tell them that, and we're going to get it, right? Okay, great, great. And they go in, and they go, the, the Lowe's person just folds over, just kind of like the Home Depot. And I think that was a great example. Now, the only part that I thought, though, that you broke down a little bit, then went you to the segue, and all of a sudden you went from this kind of story to all of a sudden it's like, we're negotiating now, okay? I'm going to negotiate on a salary. And it's kind of like all of a sudden it was like the first part of the speech, you, you lost the momentum that you had on the first part of the speech. And so I think when you got into the negotiation part of it, what you did is you told them the great parts about I got skill sets, I got, I can hit the ground running, I got the experience. And that's all I kind of heard. It was in, in, Essentially, Sutton was kind of like, yeah, 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 okay, okay. And, and then when she kind of put, gave you a little pushback, you didn't bring anything else to the table. You know, you didn't say, you know, I can, let me tell you about what I've done previously and how I can help you on going forward. And this is why I'm worth more money. So, and then at the same time, I, you know, you talked about at the end when you came to the group discussion, and you asked how you did, but you, you don't need to ask Sutton. You know, when you need to go back out here and ask them. We don't really care what Sutton says at this point right now. You know, we just want to hear what everybody else is saying in the group one. And you got some great feedback. Jen told you exactly, you know, hey, yeah, he came early, you know. And the idea what you said was, was the I, um, you said, well, you know, you, I'll fix the lab up. You won't even know I'm there. Well, he's, he's got to feel a little like Dilbert Wally, you know. It's like, you don't know I'm here. I'm just drinking coffee, you know. But so I think that part of it is, is a little overblown. But you did the thing well. You had a great opening. You know, the role play is hard to do without notes and find out acting, and you did a great job in getting the group discussion. Great time.